All right, today I want to show you about two more grassy weeds. I've got another video that I just had about Dallas grass and crab grass and carpet grass. This one's going to be about knotroot foxtail. If you notice the seed head here, see how it kind of resembles a foxtail. Um, a little bigger seed head on this one. Um, seed heads are always the best way to distinguish between different types of grass. I don't think I had it right there, sorry. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's a clumpy grassy weed. The, um, the blades of grass, you see how they have kind of a bluish tint. They're really thin, especially compared to Dallas grass or crab grass. The, uh, it grows more in clumps like crab grass, as you'll just see like a clump all by itself. Uh, they don't pull up easy. Crab grass pulls up easy. Dallas grass does not. Not root foxtail does not pull up easy. Uh, the reason why this grass or this weed is significant is because there is no way to prevent it. I know that's horrible news. This is 2023 for reference. And uh, right now we don't have a pre-emerge that works for it. We don't have a post-emerge other than a non-selective herbicide that will kill it which makes a dead spot because a non-selective does not select. It just kills whatever it touches. And so uh, it's one to know about because there's nothing to do for it other than to make little dead spots. Let me show you um, an example. I saw a pretty good size seed head. They're not always so small. That one's still about the same size. But I, I saw a pretty good size one a second ago. I mean, they're, they're all still uh one to two inches in length but that seed head is is really the big deal the big kicker um i'm gonna go ahead and show you some torpedo grass so the rest of this yard is something called torpedo grass i've also heard it called louisiana grass it really likes louisiana it really likes humid wet places you'll see it growing in ditches a lot uh, so this is a bermuda grass yard that's what the turf grass type right here is and you have your knot root foxtail which can only be killed with roundup and the sad thing about torpedo grass which is what all of this grass right here is and i'll tell you a couple of distinguishing characteristics about it in just a second but guess what with torpedo grass nothing can kill it <laughs> you have to use a non-selective herbicide um, that just kills the grass there are selective herbicides that'll make it disappear for four to six maybe eight weeks but then it comes right back and you start back at square one uh with the torpedo be grass being back in full force again next year so all you do is make it disappear but there's no way to get rid of it you have to dig it out with a tractor suppress it and let it come back with selective herbicides or use non-selective herbicides that will not select it will kill the whole grass but here's how you know if it's torpedo grass the ends of the leaves always i've always i've never seen otherwise i've always seen the ends of the leaves frayed the way these lawn mowers cut it it just rips it off it doesn't have a clean cut saint augustine will do that sometimes if your blades are not sharp so make sure your blades are sharp if you have saint augustine and you see that frayed ending on the end of the grass but this is the only other grass i know that does it every single time and one other way to know especially if you have a bermuda grass yard is you tear you off a little stem and you get you a stem of your Bermuda grass and you put them side by side. And you can see how the Bermuda grass is a miniature version of the torpedo grass. I don't know if you can tell that really well in this video or not, but they're in the same family. They're like cousins. It's just that torpedo grass and the reason why it stands out so much in this yard is because it's just a wider bladed grass from the same family and that's why you can't get rid of it because the same thing that kills torpedo kills bermuda grass there's another um stolen the stolen is what what we call a stem it's the stem of the grass kind of like the branch of a tree except it's the branch or the stem of the grass called a stolen um so Bermuda grass versus torpedo grass versus knotroot foxtail, which is a type of grass. Hope that helps. Have a good day.